Okay, so this is uh, the new Ubuntu OS for smartphones. Um, what we're showing here is uh, an example of our welcome screen. So this is a, a very personalized way in which we're uh, displaying the way in which the user has been um, interacting with the phone. So this particular infographic is displaying the number of tweets, but it could just as easily be showing a uh, number of emails or um, a number of calls made. So it's a very personalized, individual way in which we want to um, display a user in, in, in a welcome screen context. The other thing about this phone is that we're not using any hard keys or soft keys. So we've engineered and designed the phone. So in order to access the different features of the, uh, of the software, we're using all four edges of the phone. So for example, on the left edge, uh, we've got access to a range of applications that the user would want to gain access to most frequently. Um, this is a way in which the user gains instant access to uh, those applications that he or she wants to wants to use, wants to use immediately. Um, by, go, by leaving the welcome screen and going into the, uh, the main UI itself, we arrive at the home screen. So this is full access to all of the services that um, are available on the phone. We can swipe left onto the, to the uh, people lens or, or, or the contacts. We've got full social network integration with each of the contacts. So as you can see here, um, there's a full... Uh, Facebook update, that would take me directly into Florian's Facebook profile. Um, the internet access isn't working here, otherwise we'd be able to show you that, that integration uh, working. Um, by going across into um, showing applications available on the phone, these are all applications that are installed. Um, and interestingly, this is the range of applications that are available for download, so this is a part of the UI that's customizable. So, um, Service partners of ours, for example, could um, be able to promote and give profiles to applications that they believe are relevant for their user base um, and make them available at this part of the other part of the UI. This is different to the way conventional smartphone systems work because ordinarily those services can only be available through an application store which is controlled um, very tightly by the, uh, the OS provider. Whereas what we've done is designed a way in which we can allow our service partners to um, more easily make certain services and give those services more prominence and profile and, and make them as, as part of the main, the main UI. Um, so if I go into the gallery application, this is an example of a, an application that we've designed natively for the phone itself. So I can scroll up and down and see what content is available over a particular, on a particular day.
the unified design I think that you guys are using. I I have used Ubuntu on the desktop, and it seems very you know the rounded, yes. the rounded icons, the the, the, the very smooth gesture based uh, interface. Um, I, I'm assuming that was that, that was part of the design. Yeah, absolutely. And what, what we're also showcasing with the Ubuntu phone is that this is the next in our family of devices that support a UI in the same way that that, that UI is. Um, will be supported across our full family of devices. So it's the same it's the same code base that we're using for the UI across our TV, across our desktop, across our phone, and also across our tablet as well, which means that application developers can develop applications very, very easily, not just for the phone, but also for the TV and the desktop and those sorts of things. And each each of those each of those family of devices carries the same um, same level of design ethos, if you like. So it does look like, uh, for example, uh, Ski Safari. That's an Android app, right? Yeah, this is this is this is an example application. So, um, but will it be possible for developers to port Android apps to Ubuntu OS? Um, so we're not we're not going to be supporting any kind of Android compatibility within the phone system itself. Um, however. Particularly for uh, web applications, any of those web services that would be developed for iOS or for Android, using all of the conventional standardized HTML5 um, standards, will be. They, they can also uh, make those services available on, on Ubuntu as well. Ubuntu is a native application development um, capability. is um, going to be based on having um, QML, Qt-based applications. So that will be the framework that application developers will use to build particular applications for the Ubuntu. To OS. Fantastic. All right, just been a uh, quick look at Ubuntu OS on the Galaxy Nexus.